Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video, um, a day ago, Jim and I made um, a video. His issue with the um, pay-per-view being called Extreme Rules with the PG era. Now this, I thought that would be, you know, an interesting topic. Because I think, in my mind, I've been a, you know, like, wrestling fan about 20, just over 20 years. But to be honest, I think the people view names, to be honest, really don't mean nothing. Like Extreme Rules. To me, it doesn't mean nothing. Hell in a Cell. Like, even the Hell in a Cell concept, they just put that in there just to get more money. And I don't think Hell in a Cell is, was as good like, with Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Uh, Bad Blood, 1997, King of the Ring, 1998 with Mankind and Undertaker. You know, you can still have Hell in Cell matches that don't need blood, but, you know, you need a little bit, you know. Okay, Undertaker and Brock Lesnar last year. You know, they were both got all bloody and the doctor came in and kind of, that kind of ruined the whole damn match right there. Like, freaking really? That's dumb. Nice going, Vince. <coughs> But, you know, the, the pay-per-views now, like even the concept, like the Asylum match, pretty much a steel cage, just with little uh, decorations, like pretty much with weapons hanging from a rope. Now, I do agree it is kind of irritating. You, know, you have extreme rules. And when's the last time a pay-per-view actually lives up to their name? Besides John Cena and Brock Lesnar in 2012. Now, when's the last um, extreme match that you actually watched and it actually meant something? Like, extreme rules actually meant something. Hell in the Cell. You go back when they, when they changed the pay-per-views from No Mercy to Hell in the Cell in 2009. That's when they started doing the Hell in the Cell pay-per-views. Out of all of them, from... 09, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15. Has any of those Hell in Cell matches over the past year when they changed the Hell in Cell to the Hell in Cell pay per view, has any of those matches lived up to the actual Hell in a Cell? Besides Undertaker and Brock Lesnar going all out? Nothing. Even the Andre Battle Royal. They bought that in at WrestleMania 30. Now it's becoming just like an ordinary battle royal. Wrestlers that you don't see on TV, like David, da Damian Sandow who got released. Wrestlers that you don't even see at all. And I thought that, you know, this would be a good kind of good video to do. Because I watched that, you know, I watched Jim and I, you know, his issue with the, uh, all extreme rules, and he does have a point. And all the people that made comments, they have a point. You know, WWE. Like, let's get this. Let's put this into a perspective. The Attitude Era was the best time to be a WWE fan. The best because they had WCW. Because they had competition. You think WWE has competition with t t Impact Wrestling? No. Ring of Honor? No. <laughs> the, the attitude there was probably the best time. Because the stuff that they pulled off on TV would be most likely pulled from TV now. <laughs> but I think the most... The pay-per-views now, even the matches, I think they just put them in there just to make more money. So Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, the actual Hell in a Cell match, to me doesn't mean really anything. Doesn't mean any anything more. It's not like the Hell in a Cell, like I said, that was in 1997, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker of Mankind, and Undertaker, King of the Ring, 98. You know, when Big Boss Man, when Undertaker hanged the Big Boss Man at WrestleMania 15. 
even Extreme Rules. Just a pay-per-view with a name. That's all it is. But, you know, whatever. WWE is not as, what, as fans we used to watch and enjoy. Now, don't get me wrong. You can still have, you can still have Extreme Rules. I think you can still have a good match, but at least have a little bit of blood in it. Same with Hell in the Cell. Blood's not going to hurt anybody. And they all, the only thing that they, they don't even use blood, all they do is use a ketchup thing. Split that open, boom, ketchup falls. That's pretty much all they do. Pretty sure you guys all know that. But yeah, that's pretty much all they do. They just use like a ketchup thing once that thing is, you hit the right spot, there you go. It's pretty much food coloring. Ketchup. That's, it is. J look at, okay, JBL, John Cena, Judgment Day, 2005. John Cena was massively bloody. Like, it, his face was covered in ketchup, like crazy. That was the best I quit match I ever saw in my life. But, that's what it is, you know. Uh, most pay-per-views, like I said, don't mean nothing. Just a name. Just a gimmick. That's all the pay-per-views are now. Sadly to say. So I wanted to, you know, give this video, give it a shot, and see what kind of response I get. So as always, guys, thanks for listening, and hit that subscribe button. Have a good one.